Alright, um, I'm just going to release um, this word that I felt uh, from the Lord uh, yesterday, really. I, I released it, I typed it up last night, and uh, many of you may have uh, read it, but it was um, on a seven-day turnaround. Uh, out of the blue, um, the Lord really... Uh, hey Jeff, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, out of the blue yesterday, uh, the Lord spoke to me very clearly and he said that there was a seven day turnaround uh, over the people of God right now. Um, that many people that have been uh, suddenly catapulted into uh, what feels like a, a moment of just absolute chaos. Uh, there's been lots of opposition, there's been lots of turbulence, uh, that there was a specific seven day turnaround. And when I asked the Lord about um, why it was seven days, I felt the Lord say to me that there is a completion upon many in the body of Christ right now, that you've been facing something and it feels like you're constantly going around the mountain um, and it feels like, you know, you, you kind of get a few steps of breakthrough and then you, you, you go backwards again. Uh, and, uh, and I really felt like the Lord wanted to release that there is a completion of a cycle uh, that's happening right now. Hi, hello. Um, there's a completion of a cycle that in the next seven days there will be a breakthrough, specific breakthrough for, for God's people and there would be miracles. And the thing that really uh, stood out to me was um, the seven day turnaround is going to be very specifically um, something that you couldn't set up for yourself. So for many of you that have been in that place where you actually can't do anything to get your breakthrough, like you really need a miracle. That's what I feel like the eyes of the Lord are on you right now to set you free, to bring deliverance, healing and freedom. And God is about to do what only God can do. And uh, I know recently the Lord had me release a word and, uh, and it was very specific again. I think it was about seven days. Um, and since then we have had so many testimonies coming in from people all over the world that in that seven day period received major breakthrough, healing and provision. It was just just incredible so I feel like the Lord is really on and highlighting um, especially the number seven right now because he wants I, I really feel his heart that he's saying this is it like I am fighting for you enough is enough this is a completion of a cycle the completion of drought the completion of, um, of cycles of grief and pain and doubt and unbelief I really saw that the Lord is uh, going to release specific um, uh, life-changing revelation in the next seven days uh, that where unbelief has taken root that as um, as you know we, we moved closer to the Lord and we, we repent of any unbelief in our hearts uh, I just saw roots of unbelief were being uh, literally pulled out by uh, the revelation of his truth um, I don't look it, you know it's I, when people ask me do we need to fast I, I really uh, encourage people to ask the Lord um, I don't uh, I don't want to actually put a blanket statement you know and say yes everybody has to fast um, but I, I definitely believe that there is something that the Lord will have it, like if, if the seven day word has really um, witnessed to your spirit, you're like, yes, I've been sensing that. Uh, I would encourage you to go to the Lord and ask him what he wants you to do in the next seven days. Uh, it's not to earn the breakthrough. It's not to convince God to bring a turnaround. It's to position you. Hey, John, so good to see you. Oh, so good to see you, John. Um, but there is a positioning, so there's an intentionality um, that God is going to uh, highlight to, to each person individually of how you can position yourself in the next seven days for this seven day turnaround. But specifically, um, here we are about to have lunch and, uh, and I, I hear the Lord say very, very clearly, Hey Katie! <laughs> Sorry, I'm all over the place today. It's so good to see you. Aww. Um, as we're sitting here about to have lunch, I, I felt the Lord say very, very clearly um, that for many people right now that feel like they've been spun around, so something has come out of the blue into your life and has caused a confusion. It's caused you to feel like you've lost your ground. It's caused you to feel like you're unstable, like the footing, like what you were standing on before has been shaken. Everything that you, that you knew to be um, what God was doing and where you were going suddenly 
suddenly something came in and has caused a spinning and it's caused a, a, a real um, a confusion and a lack of direction and, and a lack of clarity. Oh, is there too much noise? Can everybody give me, uh, somebody tell me, so I'm, I'm seeing a few comments that there's too much noise. Um, am I coming through clearly? I might have to, uh, I might have to, um, yeah, I might have to, um, sorry, I'm just trying to um, see if people can hear me. Is this clear? Okay, I'll keep going. Um, but I feel like specifically that many people that have felt like they've been spun around uh, out of the blue, that the Lord wants to decree over you today that um, this, where you've been spun around, you are now about to turn around. There is a turning point that is over your life right now where God is going to bring very clear breakthrough. There's going to be clarity and confirmation of where you're going, what God has called you to, that you're in the right place at the right time. And, you know, this whole thing um, in the last couple of weeks, uh, there has been such an assault on the body of Christ, like in the last couple of months, but especially I've seen it increasing in the last couple of weeks against many people uh, to really steal your clarity, right? To steal your footing and to steal that place of, am I actually where God wants me? And that confusion, the way you've been spun around, I decree over you there is a seven day turnaround. God is going to turn your circumstances around. He's going to turn um, your heart around. I saw hearts that were really fearful and really anxious that God is going to release a word. There will be an encounter and suddenly your heart will turn back around. You'll go back to that place of, oh, thank God. Yes, I'm in the right place. Yes, I've been hearing right. Yes, like this whole thing has been to distract me. There is a very specific um, tactic of the enemy right now to distract God. God's people with this confusion to try and get us off track but let me tell you press in press in press in press in because there is something very specific about the next seven days that started yet well I felt it from yesterday that the Lord said seven days and so I want to encourage you to go before the Lord and you know it's not about a formula it's not about doing something to you know get God to move in, in a certain amount of time when the Lord highlights a time frame that's an invitation uh, to come in to come deeper and to position yourself with what he's releasing and there I just believe that many of you are going to have the breakthrough you've been waiting for in the next seven days there is going to be a revelation of your identity over the next seven days that is going to break chains that have held you for generations right that in your family line where you know there's been generational lies uh, the truth of God is going to come into your life in the next seven days and are going to break the effect of, of that lie in your life. Right, That lie, that root is going to literally be uprooted in the next seven days. I prophesy that over you today in the name of Jesus. Yeah, hallelujah. And, uh, and I wanted to encourage you as well. I was walking past a a store, a, a chemist actually, a pharmacy, uh, like literally half an hour ago. And I walked past this store and the Lord highlighted a bottle of perfume to me. And on the front of the bottle of perfume, it had a crown and it said royalty. And I thought, wow, that's interesting because the Lord is speaking so much, I believe, in this season of royalty, uh, that, that he's awakening his people to the fact that we are royalty, right? We're kings and priests. We're moving into our authority in greater ways. All the authority that we already have in Jesus, we're actually be, being awakened to it and we're moving into a greater manifestation of his victory in this season. And so I'm looking at this bottle of perfume and I feel like he says to me, I want you to buy this perfume. So I, I pick it up and I think, okay, well, Lord, I'll buy the perfume. And I turned the, the box around and on the back of the box, it said, the scent of victory. So I want to just decree that over you right now. 
that you are about to smell the scent of victory, where there has been drought, where there's been dryness, where there has been lack of breakthrough, where there have where lies have, have taken root in your heart, where circumstances haven't changed, where things haven't moved, where you've got to the point where you're like, Jesus, I can't keep going on anymore, where you've got to the end of your rope and you're like, I don't know what else to do to get my breakthrough. I just prophesy over you today in the name of Jesus, in the next seven days, you will smell the scent of victory. You will know that not only is it coming, but you're moving into it. Amen. You will smell the scent of victory. So I, I just bless you today, friends. I really do. And, um, and I just want to encourage you. Keep going. Amen. Keep going. Because the, this is a season where God is really awakening us to, to our victory that, it, that we have in him that we are overcomers and uh, and I, I also just saw them